Well, until Deutsche Bahn's project, nothing other than a Eurostar has taken passengers through the channel. But now the monopoly is being broken. So where will it end? Well, let, let's ask the chief executive of Eurotunnel, Jacques Gounon. He joins us now live from St Pancras station. Mr Gounon, just what difference uh, will it make to have those German trains uh, going through the tunnel if that's what happens? Yes, I think that uh, we, as your tunnel and uh, with I speed one team in St. Pancras and the Japan, we have been working hard in order to have this historical event this morning. Because since the opening of the tunnel 16 years ago, 250 million passengers went through the tunnel. But with Deutsche Bahn, with the uh, German people connected to London, we have the uh, unique opportunity by the Olympics to have a, a new uh, world about high-speed uh, network in Western Europe. Now, you would need to have the rules changed if these uh, German trains were able to go through the tunnel because of a ventilation system. Can you explain that to us? Now, it's not a change, it's updating, which is quite different. <laughs> we must know that... Still got to change uh, the rules, safety, though, right? Safety. No, yes, but, uh, of course, the safety rules have been designed 20 years ago. Now we have new technologies, new operators, new possibilities, and it's absolutely key to understand that safety can be improved while, at the same time, new competitors can enter in uh, the tunnel. And safety is the first priority for your tunnel. And I must announce to everybody that safety will remain our core business. Having said that, we can do more, we can do better. And with specialists like Deutsche Bahn, Eurostar, and High Speed One team, your tunnel has the possibility to allow new services between Great Britain and Western Europe. The plans at the moment uh, are for Frankfurt, but just how far they, could they go? Could we be talking about uh, Eurotunnel links to, uh, to Denmark, to Poland? Yes, I think that we have the possibilities through the existing uh, high-speed network to connect both Netherlands and Germany. What we are speaking is 15 million passengers all around Western Europe which could have, who could have the possibility to go through the tunnel and with high speed one, the high speed line between the tunnel and St. Pancras, to have the possibility to connect all these people together in order to boost the economy and to have the real service uh, such customers want. What we have to keep in mind is the fact that the competition is not between Eurostar and Dutch Bahn. The real competition is between high-speed railways and airlines. And due to the environmental constraints, it's quite clear that high-speed railways with your tunnel support will defeat airlines. If this uh, safety uh, change is, gone, is put through, what kind of time frame are we talking about before we could see a St Pancras to Frankfurt uh, train line in operation? You know that the decision regarding safety rules is in governmental hands. Having said that, we made a very successful evacuation event with Dutch Bahn and with High Speed One and Eurostar observers, which are neutral, who are neutral and independent. And this evacuation uh, safety test worked very well. So I can repeat clearly from my point of view, from a tunnel infrastructure management, there is no safety issues. And I don't want that safety rules could be used as a way to uh, prevent some train makers about their own commercial weaknesses. This is a different world. Eurostar has its own responsibility to select its own train sets. What the tunnel is offering is a safety travel. Okay, Mr. Gunon, thank you and very much indeed. As you indeed. can see, there are a lot of trains which are coming here. Thank you for joining us today.